Some difficult conversations and admissions that the U.S. Army could have done more to protect Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen. The Secretary of the Army spoke to reporters today about changes being made in their efforts to help clean up criminal acts taking place at one of the biggest Army posts in the country. Our Ken Molestina joins us with what the Secretary had to say. Ken? Yeah, Brooke, Secretary Ryan McCarthy was very candid, actually, about his own feelings, not just on the sexual harassment and the murder of Specialist Vanessa Guillen, but also on other deaths and criminal Criminal activity happening at Fort Hood. I'm angry, I'm frustrated, I'm disappointed, and we're heartbroken. After listening sessions, discussions, and questions over how to fix the culture and criminal activity at Fort Hood, U.S. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy says they have a lot of work to do. So I've met over the last 24 hours with um, soldiers at every echelon, private first classes all the way to the general officers, uh, and told them that. We are we're sending down an independent group of investigators to understand the root causes associated with the rise of, of, of you know, felonies, violent acts, to better understand why this is happening at this installation. The secretary admitting offenses related to murder, sexual assault, and harassment have spiked at Fort Hood, and now they have the highest rates of those crimes compared to any other Army installation. We'll have to do a lot of coordination on the findings related to these reviews. Uh, and then once that information comes back, make determinations of appropriate levels of accountability. When asked specifically about the handling of the Guillen case, Secretary McCarthy offered this. This is our teammate. And we let her down. We let her family down. And it hurts. The independent investigative team looking into the circumstances is made up of five civilians. Their work will coincide with a separate criminal investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office. But we will do everything we can to protect her legacy by making enduring changes. Well, the secretary said Fort Hood leadership was excluded from all of those conversation sessions yesterday and today. They did that in order to allow the soldiers, Brooke, to speak up freely.